everyone, it's Alyssa the Simmer and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a tiny base game house. All of the items I used was from the base Sims 4 game. So I thought that was fun. I tried to my best to do all base games. So if you see anything that you don't recognize from the base game, then oopsie. Did not mean for that to happen. But I really like the way this house turned out. It isn't very small. Like it has space. But it is only a one bedroom. So I called it tiny. But it definitely has a lot of room. I've said in my previous builds of how much I do not like. Like really cluttered spaces in the sims. Just because I find them hard to play in. Like play the actual game in. But like live mode but um i really don't think this house is cluttered at all even though it is super small which is something i really like i really really like the way this build turned out it's super 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 cute that's a lot of supers i mean i guess i really like it <laughs> I definitely think you could add on to it too. Like it's not one of those houses that if you move things, it's going to look weird. It's not one of those houses. I think if you, you could definitely add on to this house in which I really like those kind of houses too, just because I love families in this game. I never go without having my Sims have a family. And that is just literally what I live for is just having families and getting married and, just all that life stuff. I really, really love doing that in my games. So if a house can be moved to make bigger, that is absolutely great. And it makes me feel more nostalgic. Nostalgic. Excuse me. Uh, grammar or my pronunciation. Um, it makes me feel more nostalgic because it just... It's like you were in that house from the beginning. So it's really fun when you can make your house bigger or stretch it out. So for this build, I really wanted to do something different. Like it's kind of loft styled in a way because the bedroom is upstairs. It doesn't overlook into the main floor, but it is an upstairs one bedroom. So I thought it was kind of loft-like, and I really like that style of houses. And directly under the bedroom is the porch, which I thought this was an interesting idea to do. So I originally was just going to do this house black and white, like I usually do. And you do see me use a lot of black and a lot of white and a lot of grays, just really neutrals because I feel very safe using neutral colors just because black is black and white is white and it's really hard to not it's really hard to mess up that but if you use pink then sometimes the pink is an opposite color of the pink you really want or a different shade of pink and it's just unpredictable and th sometimes they don't match and sometimes it's irritating especially on this game some of the items are from different packs do not match other items on other packs by color like so it's kind of irritating in that sense um, but I did end up adding color in this house and I really really like the way it turned out it turns out very orange let's just say it now it is kind of orange in the downstairs area and on the outside. Um, I wasn't going for orange, but I think I started playing with the rugs and I found a really orange rug I liked and it just, uh, inspiration exploded from there. Um, sorry if you heard me hit my mic. That's very irritating <laughs> when I hit my mic just because it makes a really loud noise. So... Here I'm trying to do like a funky or interesting little um, entertainment center and I tried everything. I tried so many things and I was like, let's get creative, as creative as I could possibly get, let's do it. So I ended up using cabinets and I put them on the floor like this. And this kind of reminds me of a Korean styled house. I don't understand, not 
this particular like cabinets on the floor for your entertainment center reminds me of a Korean house just because they sl they sit on their floors and they don't really have a lot of furniture like they're very minimalistic in some houses there um and just that's their lifestyle but having those cabinets on the floor like that kind of reminds me of that um so I thought that was cool. I didn't think of that when I was doing it, but I definitely think of it now as I'm doing this voiceover. But I tried so many different colors in this particular room. So as you can see, there is definitely a lot of space down here. Not like a lot, a lot, but if you wanted to delete a chair or scoot things over, you could definitely fit enough stuff in this space like you could set you can you could fit skill type things like an easel or maybe even a piano but I thought that was cool because it's not super cluttered where you can't function you know you can move stuff around and still function or add stuff to the place just make it your own which I thought that was super cool so yeah now I'm just trying to mess around with the colors and find stuff that match the orange theme that I continued to go on from that rug and I'm trying to fill the place with some more furniture just because it is an open space I like having such a simple um, kitchen too I feel like you could make the kitchen bigger if you wanted to but I like having just a simple wall kitchen because I feel like if your sim's not going to be a chef, then why have such a big kitchen, you know? Especially if they're single and living in this kind of space. I'm sure they're single or just a newlywed or something like that. Um, because if you were living in a bigger space, you would want a bigger kitchen because you'd probably have more people living with you. <laughs> so I wanted to do a orange backsplash just to match the theme I don't think it's a lot like usually when I add colors in the sims I'm like oh my gosh this is going against my nature but I didn't feel that way in this I think I done it pretty well to where it wasn't super overwhelming with colors um, I just think it matched like properly the upstairs in the bedroom isn't as done up as I usually do. I just done something very simple up there, but um, it's still very cute. And I moved the bathroom over and ended up putting a roof over there because I had the bathroom where that roof is on the right. I moved the bathroom over kind of into the bedroom, but the bedroom's still pretty big, so... Um, I am glad that I did that just because it gave the house a better shape. But yeah, the upstairs is very simple. I am very sad because before I done this build, I tried to do a bathroom build and the bathroom build was super fun to do and super glamorous like it was an amazing bathroom like usually in spaces like this I do a very simple bathroom barely anything in this but I tried my hand at a room build that was a bathroom and I absolutely loved the bathroom it was super glamorous and had just it was black and white and it was, it was just really really nice and I really loved all of the the ideas I put into the space and I was super sad when I was done because I wasn't recording and that was my plan was to record that space and record me doing that room build and I wasn't recording so it was super sad for me that I spent it I mean I spent a little while on it like it was one room but I spent a while trying to figure things out and just fixing the place up and it was sad when I figured out I wasn't recording and all of my spent time was sadly wasted to a degree I mean I still have the build and maybe one day I will use it but I'm actually thinking of redoing it for you guys even though it won't be super um, like original or on the spot because I'll be mimicking what I've done before but I think I'm gonna retry it for you guys 
just because I really, really loved it and it turned out super great by the time I was done and it was just a very glam bathroom. So if you want me, if you want me to redo the bathroom room build, you should totally let me know in the comments because that will encourage me more to do it. Like it's kind of sad when you have to redo something that you already done just because it's not as much fun or it's very predictable. So I added some um, paneling upstairs and I added orange wood floors, which I thought was kind of intense, but I still think it matched and still made the place. It still looks sophisticated in a way, you know, I still really like it. And even though it kind of seems like too much, it actually isn't for me, which is kind of shocking for myself, but I think it turned out really great. So I decided I wanted to do orange outside too. So that's what I did. And we are nearing to the end. I just wanted to give you guys a little warning. Um, there will be pictures at the end. I'm not sure if I keep that orange walkway. I didn't really like that. I thought it was too much. Um, yeah, I think I changed that in a little bit, but I'm trying to go through and find out what color I wanted the roof. I didn't know if I should make it super white or super black or orange. Um, that was kind of a little struggle I had trying to figure out what color to make the roof. And now I was going to add some trees and stuff, but I really did not like those trees that I was going for. And I added up with that simple tree. This landscaping is, I don't think it stays. I'm not sure if it stays or not, but it's very simple if it does. Um, yeah, but this is towards the end of the vid video. Here are some screenshots of the place. This is the outside view, the inside living room the kitchen and little seat area, um, the upstairs bathroom, I mean bedroom, and this is the bathroom. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe because I try and post videos every Tuesday. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.